Oftentimes when developing websites, you'll want to see how it looks on a mobile device or tablet. Browser developer tools have come a long way, allowing us to see how our websites will look on various devices and screen sizes. As helpful as these tools can be, sometimes they miss things or you just simply want to see exactly how it'll look on a specific device. To get around this, I want to show you how I'm able to test local code from my computer on various devices. So in VS Code, I have this modern form I created a video on a while back. If you are interested in learning how to build this, there will be a link down below in the description. Without the use of any frameworks, to view this page we can use an extension called Live Server. If you're watching this video, I'm going to assume you're already aware of this extension. This launches a page on a local server native to the network you're connected on. If you attempt to take this URL and paste it into a browser on your phone, tablet, or other device, it's not going to work. In order for this to work, you're first going to need to obtain your local IP address. To obtain your local IP address, if you're on a MacBook, you can run this command in the terminal to obtain your local IP. If you're on Windows within the command prompt, you can run this command and then you're going to want to look for the IPv4 address. Now the next step is very important. You're going to want to ensure that your device is on the same network as a computer running the local website, otherwise this won't work. On my mobile device, which is connected to Wi-Fi on the same network as my MacBook, I'm going to replace the valley before the port with my local IP address and then if we hit enter, we should be able to see the website. And if I make any changes to this on my computer, we're also going to see those changes live on the mobile device. For the most part, this works without any problems. However, on Windows, I have experienced issues where it refuses to connect. To fix this, what you're going to want to do is navigate to the search bar and type in Windows Defender Firewall. You're going to select Advanced Settings, then Inbound Rules, and then create a new rule. We're going to select Port. Then we'll leave it as TCP and then enter the port your application is currently running on. In this case, it would be 5501. Leave it as allow the connection and you can leave the profile options all checked. Lastly, you'll just want to give it a name and hopefully that should resolve your issue. Now for any front end framework users, I'll show you a few ways to easily display the network information for your application directly in the terminal without having to do any of the steps above. On this channel, I mainly stick to view, so that's what I'm going to be showing you in. However, I am sure that these methods will probably work for React and even Angular. When starting your local development server, you can add the flag host to the end. With view, this will display the network information for the locally running application directly in the terminal. If you're using Nux, this should also work as well. To avoid having to add this flag each time you start your development server, you can actually just include it within the dev script inside of your package.json. Lastly, for view specifically, you can add a server option within the Vite config and define the property host and set this to true. Alright, hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, be sure to leave a like as it really helps out the channel and consider subscribing for more content like this. Thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.